Hello, this is James Younger, the lead instructor at the Academy of Computer Education, and welcome to my first video on subnetting. I've taught the Cisco Certified Network Associate, the CCNA, course for about five years now, and by far the most difficult area that my students have is with subnetting. So I'm making uh, this video for my former students and for my future students and for anyone else out there that may have uh, some questions or some trouble with, with uh, subnetting. So let's go ahead and get started. Now, before we get started, a few things we should all know, we should understand. Definitely want to know that an IPv4 address is 32 bits, that a subnet mask is also 32 bits. So here I have a sample subnet mask, 255.255.255.0. Okay, and here's what that would be in binary. So hopefully you know how to convert from decimal to binary by now. If not, we'll take a quick look at that, but we're not really going to uh, focus on that. My, my hope and belief is that you already know how to do that. Now, what you also see here is something called the CIDR or CEDAR value. You'll hear me pronounce it both ways. So it really doesn't matter, CIDR or CEDAR. Well, the slash 24 simply represents the number of ones that are turned on in the subnet mask. So when you see a slash 24, it simply means we have 24 ones. If you had a slash 26, it would mean we would have not 24, but 26 ones. Okay. All right, so that's enough of a little bit of background. Now, when I do subnetting, even to this day, if I take a, a, an exam that requires subnetting, there's a couple things I set up beforehand. The first thing that I always encourage students to do, that I do myself, is I'll write out my powers of two. Okay. And I'll write out my powers of two pretty much to right there, where I have my two to the zero is one all the way down to about 2 to the 13th or 2 to the 14th, okay, 16,384. So I write that out. The other thing I use for my subnetting, there are three formulas that I use for my subnetting, okay, and those three formulas are right here. Hopefully this isn't too small a print and you can see this. So the three formulas that I use, like I said, there are three, are this formula for the number of hosts and so the number of hosts equals 2 to the number of zeros minus 2, the number of subnets, 2 to the number of ones. And the range, which we'll see more in the next video, is 2 to the number of zeros. But I'll cover that out for now. Now, if you have a Class C, Class C network, such as 192.168.50.0, with the default subnet mask, gives me one network with 254 hosts. We always have to hold out two. IP addresses, one for the broadcast and one for the network address. So let's take a look at how these formulas work with that default subnet mask of 255.255.255.0 or slash 24. So looking at this formula, the formula says 2 to the number of zeros, host equals 2 to the number of zeros, minus 2. Well, we have 8 zeros, 2 to the 8th is, come right over here to my chart, 256 minus 2 is 254. My number of subnets is 2 to the number of 1s. We're looking at, there's an asterisk there, we're only going to count the 1s in the octet where they flip over from zeros to 1. Sometimes you call it borrowing bits or flipping bits. Well, in this octet there are 0 1s or no 1s. 2 to the 0 is 1. We just talked about the cedar value is my total number of 1s. So the total number of 1s is slash 24. And that would be in decimal. All zeros in decimal would just simply be zero. So we know the first three octets are 255, 255, 255. The last octet would be a dot zero. So if we take the first bit and we flip that, we have one in the rest zeros. So my number of hosts, again, is two to the number of zeros minus two. Two to the seventh is 128 minus two, 126. Number of subnets equals 2 to the number of 1s. Well, I have 1, 1, 2 to the 1. Again, I'm not going to think about it. I'm going to go right over here to my chart. would be 2. My cedar value is not a slash 24 now, but a slash 24, slash 25. And my decimal would be a dot. That's this line right here. If I have 1 and the rest zeros, dot 128. 
So my decimal is a dot 128. Now we go to the next one. We have two ones and the rest zeros. So what we're going to do here, we have six zeros, two to the number of zeros, two to the six is 64, minus two is 62. My number of subnets, two to the number of ones, we have two ones, two to the second is four, and that cedar value be a slash 24, slash 25, slash 26. And my decimal for that would be not a 128, but 128 plus 64, which would be 192. Okay. Moving down, here I flip the first three bits over. So three ones and five zeros, five zeros. Two to the fifth is 32, minus two is 30. Two to the number of ones, we have three ones. Two to the third is eight. Okay, we're not going to try to figure out what any of these values are on the fly. So we write this down beforehand. My cedar value is not a slash 24, but now a slash 27. And if I have three ones and the rest zeros, the decimal of that would be 128, 64, plus 32, 224. Moving down to the next one, we have four ones and four zeros. Number of hosts to the number of zeros, two to the fourth, 16, minus two, 14. Number of subnets, two to the number of ones, four ones, two to the fourth is 16. My cedar value, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28. Again, that cedar value is the total number of ones in the subnet mask. And my decimal, four ones. Jump back here. Four ones, 128, 64, 32, 16 is 240. Moving down here. For this one we have five ones and three zeros. The number of hosts is two to the number of zeros minus two. Two to the third is eight. Minus two is six. The number of subnets equals two to the number of ones. Two to the fifth is 32. And that cedar value would be a slash 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29. And that decimal of the five ones would be right here. So we have 240, which is at this point, plus eight more, 248. Moving down to the next one, we have six ones and two zeros. Two zeros. Two to the second is four. Minus two is two. The number of subnets. Two to the number of ones. We have six ones. Two to the sixth is 64. The cedar value will be a slash 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30 a slash 30, and the decimal for that would be right here. So we're at this point here, 248 plus 4 more, 252. And that's a significant one. We often use this for what's called a point-to-point -point network. The last one is in red because we can't have this in the fourth octet because at this point we would see that we would have 2 to the 1, which would be 2, minus 2, we'd have 0 host. All right. And so that's how we can manipulate the subnet mask and change how many hosts and how many subnets uh, we get. Now, you'll find many charts out there and many different shortcuts and ways to do subnetting, and that's fine and great if you can remember those shortcuts and if you can remember uh, those different charts. I like to do it out by hand, writing out all my ones and zeros, and this way we never make any mistakes. I want to thank you for watching, and I hope to uh, have you uh, join me on my next video.